Welcome to the YouTube channel that nobody really cares about because it's just like every other YouTube channel. Um, barking dog. All right. Here to talk about some stuff. Um, I've been meaning to make this video for a minute for the thousand or so people that watch it. Um, it's it's been really hard only because it's something that's super difficult that I deal with in my life. As many of you know, I was on the X Factor um, about two years ago, and it kind of jump-started my career, I guess, if you will, into this amazing whirlwind of a time where things were coming at me left and right to an extent, and just a lot of overwhelming fans and awesomeness happened, and then, you know, as I got eliminated from the show, it started decreasing. So that's kind of what I wanted this video to be about, to kind of just be honest with you guys and upfront with you guys that do care about this YouTube channel. You know, because a lot of people post photos and, you know, they're okay. It's been a really crazy journey, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. It allowed me to move to LA. I just kind of wanted to put everything into perspective. I do have a regular job. I'm going to college and I don't want to be doing that. I am not signed. I don't have a manager. Am I working on stuff? Kind of. I guess that's still kind of up in the air. But I had a couple of music things that were amazing or could have potentially been amazing fall through. Um, that's just how this business goes. Do I plan on releasing some music? Absolutely. I just wanted to be honest with you guys. You know? I don't want to say everything that I'm doing or everything that I'm not doing. I'm kind of in a place where it's like I kind of need help with my career in a sense. Acting wise, everything's A-OK. -okay. I audition a whole bunch and it's just kind of like the right role at the right time. Um, I've tested for the network for a couple of shows this year and they just kind of fell through, and it's, it's really tough. It's, it's really, really tough, so it's, it's kind of like, oh, I don't hang out with famous people, and my friends don't have 500,000 followers, so that automatically associates me with not being famous or not being relevant anymore. I feel like a lot of this social media and a lot of this stuff is so fickle and small where people see that, oh, he's not doing anything, he's not hanging out with so-and-so because they have a billion followers. They're automatically cool and famous and great. A billion is not even a number, I just made it up. It's just really hard for me seeing a lot of people that I know doing stuff, you know? And I always tweet inspirational stuff for my followers, but it's also for me too, so a lot of you guys keep me going and a lot of you guys give me hope. I also just really want to inspire the people that follow me to, to never give up, you know, no matter what. No matter who is doing what to the right or left of you or in front of you or behind you, like, focus on what you love to do and what you want to accomplish and I need to take that advice. No matter how many times you get knocked down, no matter how many dark clouds you feel follow you. Because I feel those things too. Like I just feel like I always get knocked down or always get a no. But that will never stop me from trying. And I think that also that's the message of this video as well. I'm working on meeting producers and working with producers and writers and this and that and it's kind of just getting it all together. Because I don't want you guys to, to, to feel like that I'm letting you down or anything like that because that's not my goal. Like I said, if I tweet, hey, do you guys know any you know, producers or anybody, tweet their asses. Let's do this together. I appreciate every single one of you. I want to tell you guys and thank you guys, the ones that stick around and truly believe in me and tell me that you're going to be here to the end and you really are. Like that watch many of my videos or, or click like on my outhouse scenes and I do that too to show you guys, okay, I'm doing something. And I'm working on the cover right now, actually. So I'm getting that together. So I'm doing some stuff, but I really want to do some original music and I really want that to be great. So I just met 
this producer and I was working on a song and I hope that I watch this video and we all watch this video in like two or three more years and we're like, wow, we've been there since, you know, Al has been XYZ, you know, and I'm not like all of these other people in Los Angeles, I feel like that, put on a front as soon as the camera comes on and da 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 Like, this is me, man. Like, this is, this is, this is it. I'm sad because I see a lot of my friends being super successful and it's more envy than jealousy because I love my life, I love who I am, I love the people that I'm with, I love the city that I live in. So, it's not even any of that, it's, I want all that stuff, so. I kind of feel like, I can do that. I know I can do that. I want to be a part of something that has longevity and I want to be a part of something that has substance and growth. I just need help. Maybe we can tweet some writers or make a campaign or something and, and, and make something really epic. I think I've ranted enough. I hope that you guys don't lose belief in me because this video isn't me saying, oh, I'm gonna stop. Acting. I'm gonna stop singing. I'm still gonna be doing Alcal sings, so don't be worrying about that. I'm still gonna be doing covers, so don't be worrying about that. So I hope y'all stick around with me for the long haul. I'll talk to you guys later, and that's it.